Hi, I'm Joachim for Statistics Group, and in this video I'll explain how to color the points of a scatter plot using the R programming language. In the video I'm going to show you two examples, and both of these examples are based on the data frame that we can create with lines 2 to 8 of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see that at the top right of RStudio a new data frame object appears, which is called data. And if we click on this data object, you can see that a new window is opened and this window is showing the structure of our data frame. And as you can see, our data contains three columns. X and Y contain numeric values. And the third column, which is called group, is consisting of a grouping indicator that is also used later on to create the colors for the different points of our scatterplot. So let's assume that we want to use the basic installation of the R programming language to color the points of our scatterplot. Then we can apply the code that you can see in lines 10 to 13. And in these lines of code, I'm applying the plot function to our two numeric data frame columns. Then I'm applying the PCH argument and I'm setting this argument to be equal to 16 to change the shape of our points. And then I'm setting the call argument to be equal to our grouping column. So if you run lines 10 to 13 of the code, you can see that at the bottom right of our studio, a new plot has been created. And as you can see, all our points are shown with colors and the points lower then zero are shown in black, the points between zero and 1.5 are shown in red, and all points larger than 1.5 are shown in green. So in this first example, I have explained how to use the plot function that is provided by the basic installation of the R programming language to color the plots of our scatter plot. However, it is also possible to use the ggplot2 package to show a scatter plot with different colors. And this is what I want to show you in the second example of this video. And for this, we first need to install and load the ggplot2 package, as you can see in lines 15 and 16 of the code. I have installed the package already, so I'm just going to load it with line 16 of the code. And after running this line of code, we are able to use the functions of the ggplot2 package, such as ggplot and geompoint. And if we want to create a plot with different colors based on our grouping column, then we can apply the code that you can see in lines 18 to 22 of the code. And in these lines of code, I'm first specifying the name of our data frame. Then I'm specifying our X and Y columns. And then I'm specifying our colors based on the grouping column. Make sure that in case you are using the ggplot2 package, the grouping column is converted to the factor class. If it is not a factor yet, you can use the sFactor function to ensure that it is a factor. Yeah, and then I'm adding to this the geompoint function to tell the ggplot2 package that I want to draw a scatter plot. So if you run lines 18 to 22 of the code, you can see that another plot is created at the bottom right of RStudio which is showing the same values as our previous plot. However, this time our plot is shown in this typical ggplot2 style. And you can also see that at the right side of the plot, a legend has been created, which allows us to identify the different groups in our data. So in this video, I have explained how to color the points of a scatter plot using the R programming language. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video, so you can check it out there if you want. And furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments. And make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye-bye.